Hello, hello everyone. How's your Saturday? I've done all my cleaning. So now I've just got out. I was trying to think what to cook. So I'm going to make a fish pie. So I thought I'd come on live and open the appreciation jar. So if anybody shares my live, um, comes back and comments shared, you get entered into a draw at the end of the month for a look good, feel good bundle. Um, so, um, I've recently switched my um, shopping from Tesco to Lidl and I've saved myself about £30 a week so I managed to get, I wasn't sure if they'd do this but they do, they do a fish pie mix so I usually use a whole bag of this so you know. want all that in the dish Got some prawns last one. I want to put some prawns in my fish pie just to give it a little bit of uh, something extra. Um, and then I thought, I don't know if anybody does anything different, but I thought instead of doing a plain white sauce, I'm going to put parsley sauce over the top of it before I do my potato top. Um, Yeah, let me know. How do you do your fish pie? I do mine all frozen. I put all my frozen stuff into a dish. Um, and then about four, four potatoes. It lasts me a few days, this. So. Now, I don't do any like restrictive diet or anything like that. I know um, you're probably thinking like, oh, could you have potatoes and cheese? But um, I do calorie deficit. So as long as I count it, I can have anything. Do you know what I mean? I find if you do, I, whenever I do a diet, I don't know about you, but whenever I do a diet that restricts any certain foods, I just crave it. So I've found um, calorie deficit works better for me because, um, let me just get a plate to put up here. Calorie deficit works better for me because I'm not restricting any food. Hey Kath, hey Karen, hey Lindsay. The minute I restrict a certain food, I just crave it. So I decided to do something a little bit different and I, I now just do calorie deficit. So that means that I've calculated how much my body needs from the height and weight and the exercise that I do. Um, and then I just knock 500 calories off that to make a deficit, which means you'll lose weight steadily. Um, it also means you're not starving. You know, like my calories are 1,450 and everybody's a different depending on the height and weight and exercise. But it means I'm not starving. And if I really want chocolate, I can have chocolate. You know, like if I really want a bag of crisp, I can have a bag of, bag of crisp. Hey, car. Um, and the other thing is, one week out of a month, I have a break. So I add on 500 calories back on. So on the fourth week of the month, instead of doing 400 and 1,450 calories, I do 1,950 calories. And what happens there is, I just maintain, you know, like whatever I've lost stays the same. I don't put any back on, but I can have like a chill week. And then if I'm going out for meals or anything, I don't feel guilty, you know, like, and then you're ready to get back on it. You know, like, it's, you're less likely. I just always find when you do something that's too restrictive, you, you do it for a few weeks and then you fall off and binge, don't you? Because you're like, I'm starving. Um, so, yeah. Um, now, the supplements I take to help, the not meal replacement, I'm not into all that. Um, but, yeah, feel free to just drop a wellness underneath if you do want information on the supplements that I take. I, I've been taking um, Trim Fit, which is like an appetite suppressant, a natural one that burns your, body, burns your own fat. But it just supports whatever diet you're doing because it makes you not want to snack. You don't want to like self-sabotage. Um, and the greens are nice as well. If you're looking for something to get rid of the bloating and help your digestion and all that, they're really good and they don't taste like shit like a lot of them do. Hey Claire. Um, right, how many potatoes do you normally, how many potatoes do you reckon I need for a top? Four. 
or five. I never know how many potatoes to peel, I always do too many. Um, let's do another two. Um, so yeah, I'm finding this really works for me, you know, like just count whatever you're eating and don't restrict anything. Um, and just keep on with whatever exercise you're doing. And I'm just doing the supplements as well to kind of help, but yeah. Um, right, let me know how many spuds do you reckon I need for the top of this? So yeah, on a Saturday, I always either make like a lasagna or a fish pie or something, because then your food's done for a couple of days. I can't, I love home cooked food, but I can't be bothered doing it every day, do you know? Now, I've not linked um, the supplements, so if, if you are wanting any information on, just drop wellness in the comments because I've um, they've given me a discount code so you can get 25% off with my name. How oh, good for that? Um, and if you need some gym motivation, I've set up a fitness group. So if you've been like following my journey and thinking like, what are you doing? I need some inspiration. Um, I've got like a group on Facebook that you're welcome to join um, where we all just post our own like workouts and motivate each other, a bit of inspo. Hey, Tina. Right, that's four potatoes. What do we think? I always feel like that doesn't look like enough. I'm gonna do another one. Another one, I think. Um, and then on my top of my fish pie, so I'll do basically just put mashed potato on the top, um, a bit of a cheese top. Well, I'll put the, I'll do the white sauce in a minute for in the middle. Hey, Sarah. Good afternoon. A bit of Saturday cooking. You know, sometimes when you've not left the house and you've been like cleaning all day, I went to the gym and I'm so happy I got up and done it because the amount of times, it's funny, right? I've got, I'll set my alarm for half five, I'll get up and turn it off and go back to sleep. But if I'm meeting Charlotte at the gym, that works because you'll never let someone down, will you? So whenever I'm meeting Charlotte, I know I'm going to get up and go. So that was really good this morning. We were there for quarter past six, done for quarter past seven. And then I was back home and started my cleaning dead early. And I always feel like I've achieved something, you know, when you get, you've been in the gym and you get all your jobs done dead early. Um, <coughs> so. <coughs> all right, turn them potatoes on. Right, I don't know how this is going to go. Has anybody ever put a parsley sauce on top of the fish pie instead of a plain white sauce? Because this is just trial and error here. Let's have a look. Yeah, right, so a full packet is half a pint of milk. I don't think I need half a pint of milk. Let's do half a packet. Half a packet. Can use that again, can I? Does anyone else just feel like it's winter food time? It's winter food time. I've got my heating on all the time now. I tried for ages, but I've give up. I've give up. It's, it's too cold. I've got it on. I'm just gonna have to just freak out when I get the bill. Like my bill. I don't know about anybody else. Mind you, I've saved thirty pound a week by switching my shopping from Tesco to Lidl which blew my mind. I've never really thought about going to Lidl before. Um, there's a few things I can't get from there, but 30 pound a week I've saved, so well worth it. Um, but yeah, my gas and electric is 200 and, 280, and I've just had a letter saying it's going up again. And I'm just like, oh my God, what is going on? It's gonna be nearly my mortgage, save us my mortgage soon. Girls, do you, do you just mix this sauce straight in with the milk or do you have to like... Oh yeah, that takes in and okay. It's not going to be all lumpy. So yeah, I'm doing the appreciation jar thing again um, till the end of the month and then I'm going to do a draw. So it's going to be like a little look good, feel good bundle. Um, 
and all you've got to do is share and come back and comment shared and I'll um, put you an entry in um, and you know what I'm into so just think look good feel good what could that be what could that be 120 a month oh my god Lindsay who are you with 120 I paid 280 and it's going up and you're having a three bed as well are you tell me who you're with immediately I might need to switch. I think I've got that on too high. Yeah. Girls, this is going a bit lumpy. Need to, need to get stirring. I think this is going to turn out alright. Just wanted something with a bit more flavour than a plain white sauce in the top of the fish pie. Just to make the filling a bit more. Let me know who you're with. Fridge door is open. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. More milk. Right, thanks Melissa. I'll put a bit more in you. I don't I didn't measure it. As you can see, I'm a bit of a wing it kind of cooking. Um I should have measured the milk, but I didn't. I just whacked some in, so let's just hope. This turns out alright, a bit more. And I think I had the pan on a little bit too high as well. That looks alright now. So yeah. All right, Carly, honestly it's one of my favourites. It's one of my winter stodge foods, you know, like I eat lasagna when it's cold. I eat stew when it's cold and like um, fish pie, it just feels like my winter, what am I winter go to? Right, I'm going to pour that onto the dish. I'm going to have to, oh, there's the potatoes on. So I've got everything, I put everything in frozen. I always do it that way. Don't know whether that's right or not, but that's how I do it. And then I'm just going to pour this parsley sauce all over. That looks fit, I'm not going to lie. And smells gorgeous. Now what I'm going to do is put all the ingredients into my fitness pal and then split it by four so that I know what each portion is. Toad in the hole. Ooh, I've had that, I don't think. Lindsay, you need to tell me who your uh, gas and electrics with. <laughs> what does everybody else pay, by the way? Like, is it just me that's paying way too much? 280 a month. And I've got the heating on all the time now. I just can't. When, when, it, when it first got cold, I was like, right, I'll try and keep it off. I just can't do it now. I turn it off at bedtime. I get out of bed at six in the morning. I turn it on. And then the only time I turn it off is if I go, you know, if I'm going out to work or whatever. Hey, Kirsty, Octopus. Right, I might get a quote and see if that's a little bit cheaper. Hey, Linda. Right, so this is looking like a big mashup at the moment. Loads of fish, prawns, parsley sauce over the top. Carly, who are you with? Oh, my God, I am paying way too much, aren't I? Are you both in a three bed? Oh my god, I feel like I'm being well had at 280 now. You need to you need to fill me in here with. Right, so all I'm gonna do, girls, now is like I'm waiting for my potatoes to boil. And then I'm gonna just pour it all over the top. Great a little bit of cheese on the top. EDF. Ah, right, I'm gonna go googling in a bit for sure. Um wait for my potatoes to boil. Put the mashed potato on the top. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on it. Cheese top and then whack it in for 45 minutes and I'll show you the finished. Providing I don't like mess it up. I'll take a picture later and <laughs> show you. Um, but yeah, that is my kind of rule for this whole dieting thing. It's really funny. More, more and more people are starting to say to me like, what are you doing? You know, like it's weird, isn't it? When you first start exercising and healthy eating like you feel like nothing's changing and you feel like nobody's really noticing and you're like oh what's the point um, and then all of a sudden everyone's like oh my god what are you doing 
Um, and what I've found works for me is just not not being too restrictive, not doing meal replacements, not doing any diet that's too... I mean, I've done all that in my 20s, 30s. I've done every crash diet under the sun, Lindsay will tell you. Googling how to lose a stone in a week and all that bollocks. But honestly, I would starve myself and then I'd eat like a sandwich and put like half a stone back on, do you know what I mean? So in my 40s, I've realised that my body is different, my metabolism is different. The fat is easier to put on and it's harder to shift in my 40s. Um, and I've really changed like my exercise mindset as well because I used to do tons and tons and tons of cardio but yet my body shape wasn't changing and I wasn't shifting the pounds even though I was doing loads of cardio which I just couldn't get my head around but I think when you get to like the far when you get a little bit older weight is what you need you know like because it tones it strengthens your muscle density is going to help you when you're older like let's face it nobody wants to be struggling to get out of a chair when you're older um, and the time to build your muscles now in it while you can so and I've also done a lot of reading and found that like weights low impact on weights and strength for women actually burns like it helps your metabolism kick back in and it helps you burn more calories so yeah I've done quite a big switch on my exercise from doing like all cardio so now I go to the gym five days a week and I do weights. I do a 10 minute run to warm up and then I do like a weight session five days a week. One one day will be a proper run, um, but the majority of it is just weights. And the diet is just that calorie deficit because I don't want to be starving. I don't want to be restricting anything. Um, and the only thing I would say that's helped is that one, the trim fit because and not because it's going to fix everything if you diet shit you can't eat three mcdonald's and it's going to like magically drop a stone but what it's done for me is it's stopped me wanting to snack you know like it's a natural appetite suppressant so it stops you wanting to pick in between meals um and it gives you loads of energy as well without any jitters so i do really like that um that's kind of really helping me not to self-sabotage um but yeah, just keep the balance, you know, like, and don't always, don't always fixate your, how you feel on, based on the scales, because I had a wobble the other week when I got on the scales, I'd been really good, got on the scales and it had not moved at all. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake, I've done all my exercise, I've drank my water, I've done everything. And then I had to have a little reality check and go, you're out, you've come on, your period, <laughs> like that means your body's storing water. And I thought, you know what, what can I do for my mindset? Because I'm now thinking, doing that thing what we, we always do as women is like, I'm a load of shit, I'm failing. So I did some measurements when I first started, like just before, I think it was like just after Christmas. And I'd measured my arms and my legs and my waist and all that kind of thing. And I've lost like in centimetres off my waist, centimetres off my arm, centimetres off my thigh. And I'm like, so listen, don't always tie your mood and how you feel about yourself to the scales so yeah and if you want a fish pie have a fish pie <laughs> right girls i'm gonna let you go don't forget um the look good feel good bundle if you want to get an entry into the appreciation jar all you've got to do is share the live come back comment shared and you get an entry into the jar um right love you all and i'll see you soon see you later